A rainbow. Ah, uh, this paint's pretty smooth. I feel like you're disappointed. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, oh. it's smooth. Why aren't you grittier? So we have two cars in today. We have this beautiful brand new truck. It's a Toyota Tundra and it's the 1794 edition. This thing is awesome. And then we also have an older Camaro in for an exterior only. So both of those vehicles are in today. The Tundra is in for our diamond, which is our full interior and exterior detail. If you're enjoying videos like this, and I hope you are, consider subscribing and clicking that bell so you don't miss stuff. And if you're interested in any of the tools or the products, especially the products today, then check out the links down below and enter code Miranda10, you'll get 10% off at Car Supplies Warehouse. Ooh, so colorful. So here's the Tundra and yeah, I need to pull it out just a little bit more. I have to move that Camaro out of the way. This thing is huge. We have lots of bugs. And check out this interior. Oh, that is cool. Except for these mats. They look cool, but that's annoying. So let's begin with the truck. We're gonna show you our process and stick around. You're going to see a lot of tips and tricks, things that we do in our detailing business. This is not an enthusiast channel. This is a detailing business channel. So some things that you see us do here, we don't do as an enthusiast. We're doing this as a business. So there are some things that we don't need to do that perhaps some enthusiasts do or some people who detail their own cars or maybe just detail on the side for fun. They go through all these different steps that they do because they like it. As a detailing business, there are things that you don't need to do. Keep that in mind throughout the video. So if you are a new and upcoming detailer or you have a detailing business of your own that you're just trying to, I don't know, improve your efficiency or improve your business in other ways, then this is the channel for you. This shampoo actually says to use warm water, so that's kind of interesting. I'm gonna put two, maybe three ounces in here. That's roughly three ounces. If we need more, we'll add more. Ah, uh, this paint's pretty smooth. I feel like you're disappointed. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, oh. it's smooth. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you are a weird tone. I wish it was. So upsetting. Why aren't you grittier? Ooh, this new purist mitt is nice. It is nice. He's nice. Yeah. 
soapier. Yeah. Makes it better. Oh, mix maybe a few more ounces. Yep. Okay. Oh, there's a little bit of grit right there. Just a little bit of grit. The washy wash. A rainbow. All right, the truck is clean. It's looking great as far as bugs. Yeah, we had to use a little bit of the bug scrubber to remove some of those stubborn bugs that didn't come off with just the cleaner, but usually that's what you have to do. Paint is looking nice as well.
The Tundra is now done, cleaned inside and out, looking gorgeous. This paint is beautiful. All the buggers are gone. All the grime is gone. Wheels and tires looking proper. Interior is also cleaned and fresh. All right, we're gonna break for lunch. We're gonna come back and get that Camaro done. Next up, we're gonna work on the Camaro and we are gonna use the snow foam in the traditional snow foam manner. We usually don't do that, but in this case, we can. So we're gonna mix this in the foam cannon and then spray the entire vehicle dry. So why are we doing it this way instead of our traditional APC rinsing and pre-wash? Uh, because it's a personal choice. You can do either way. It doesn't really matter. Do what works for you. In this case, I like to demonstrate doing it both ways. There's no rule to it. It just depends on your personal choice. Now the paint really is not in bad shape. Uh-oh, gotta get this pine needle off though. But the customer did point out some weird areas right here. You see all that? That was actually due to transporting the vehicle and there was something that was flapping on this and it kind of messed it up. So we're going to compound just that little area. Uh, but this is our basic wash, clay bar, and sealant service. But just that little area is what we're going to polish. We have black matte wheels. So we're gonna use the wheel cleaner with the iron uh, deposit remover on those. And as far as the rest of it goes, again, it's not incredibly dirty or anything. So it just needs a good cleaning and then good protection. And we'll get these exhaust tips gleaming. Oh, that smells good. Yeah. I like it. So the idea behind a traditional snow foam is to pre-wash the vehicle. It softens all the junk on the paint, allow it to dwell, and then you can rinse it all off. We don't do this traditionally with our wash process. It's just our choice. We like to do the APC rinsing, and then we'll foam up with our shampoo and get to contact washing, because that's just our method. We found that it's quicker for us it uses less product, it uses less water, and it's just faster. So it's just a personal choice. A lot of guys will argue the case, but it, it doesn't matter. There's no argument to be made. It's one or you can do the other. It doesn't really matter. Both ways are going to work. But look how it's doing on the tires. You see how it's dissolving that grime on the tires? It's doing the same thing on the paint so that when you get to rinsing the paint, it's gonna blast all that grime away, making for a safer wash. The APC rinsing that we do, our other pre-wash method, does the same thing. So we're gonna let this dwell for a little bit. We are in the shade here, so we can actually let it sit on the paint just a tad longer, and then we'll get to rinsing it all off. I like the smell of that stuff. It smells good. Do you, do you like it? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, is it gritty? No. No? All right, well that's good. It's grabby, not gritty. Grabby. Well, tell it to keep its paws to itself. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Ah, oh, it's good to laugh. You hear that? What was that? <laughs> it sounded like a crazy bird of some sort. <laughs> cool, cool.
You mess up on the whole rotation. Oh, you're giving it to me? Thanks. Yeah. It's like they hunted and used Cookie Monster's fur for this towel. Cookie Monster's fur? Well, well, what do you think it is? Fuzz? Fuzz? Polyester. Po poly okay, yeah, it's polyester. It's nice and soft, though. I meant, it's, I meant like, it's what Cookie Monster is. It's like, in, in fantasy world, not what he actually is. You have to explain I think I do. You have your earplugs in? No. Well, too bad. So let's address these horrible, ugly, swirly thing, scratchy thingies. So let's address these horrible marks on the hood here. I'm going to use some Oberk cut and an orange cutting pad, and let's get this out. All right, much, much better now. I don't see any of those ugly marks anymore. Yep, looking good. Let's protect the rest of it. For the rest of the protection, I'm gonna pull out my Glossom Wax. Sugar cookies. Mm, it's nearly cookies. All right, she's looking beautiful now. This was repainted, so it's got imperfections here and there that we just have to look over, but the overall effect, yeah, looks awesome. What are you laughing at? I mean, overlook. Overlook, what did I say? Look over, overlook, eh, whatever. Foreign parents. Yes, I have foreign parents, that's what happens. You say things backwards. Yeah, that's looking awesome. All right, two vehicles, done. And almost three o'clock, so almost coffee time. So we're just finishing up a few things here on the Camaro, but it's pretty much done. The Tundra is in the garage waiting for pickup. Both of these will be picked up later on today and the customers will be super happy. And they're both repeat customers as well. So if you guys have any questions about the Purist products or you're interested in them, I'll have links down below. Don't forget to enter code MIRANDA10. You'll get 10% off at Car Supplies Warehouse. Don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe and click that bell so you don't miss stuff. Thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.